For the purposes of learning some basic Java, we're going to be using an online tool called jdoodle.com. You can access that by either typing in this link at the top or just Googling it. When you open up the page, you'll see it's given you some basic code here. And you're probably wondering what any of this means. Don't worry, you'll be cool with it in a second. So, before you can write any programs, you're going to need to know about some basic building blocks of any programming language. <clears throat> One of those are variables. In Java, variables are declared like this. This is just the basic code they give you on JDoodle. Now, for Java to know what type of variable you're declaring, you need to state its type. There's a bunch of different types, such as integers, doubles, characters, strings, etc. But we're not really going to need all of them right now. For the purposes of declaring numbers, let's start with integers. Now, you can probably figure out what all this means, but I'm just going to walk you through each part of it. You use the int keyword to declare an integer. Then you give it a name. To assign it to a value, you use a single equal sign, and then you put an integer afterward. It's important to note that you cannot put any decimals after because then it would not be an integer. And the program won't work. Do the same thing with y to declare it to 25, and z to declare it to the sum of x and y. Note that when you're referring to a variable later in a program after declaring it, you don't use the constructor, the keyword, anymore. Let's go ahead and print out the value of z to see how this works. And see there, it prints out the, the sum. You can also multiply, divide, subtract, do whatever you want. Let's see how you can use decimal numbers now. To do that, you need the double keyword. And you're going to want to change 10 to a double, which is a number with numbers on both sides of the decimal point. So we're going to multiply those together and print out the value. Great. You're probably wondering, what if I don't want to use numbers? What if I need text in my app? To do that, you'd use the string keyword. And just remember, to close every line in Java, you need a semicolon. Let's go ahead and print out my string. And there you go. If you have any questions about variables, please ask me in the comments. But for now, that's all you need to know.